My name is Manny Contaminolis, and I'm the Associate Vice President for Enrollment Management and Career Services. My department, the Office of Cooperative Education and Career Services, is here to provide you the full array of services to help your job search and your career aspirations. You'll get individual advising and a full range of job information to help you achieve your career goals. Welcome to RIT. We provide services here for current students um, and alumni based on what their needs are, which could be uh, co-op requirement or um, alumni services, job search strategies, resumes, uh, interviewing preparation. We do service more on a um, as needed basis for things like resumes. We have open hours basically for we offer for resumes, um, cover letters, uh, salary negotiation, that kind of thing. I'm here in the co-op on career service offices for a mock interview. I schedule it through RIT Jobson and the main purpose of the interview is to practice uh, our skills and how to um, how to be able to handle our professional experience and information in a job interview. I just did my mock interview right now. It's a great service provided by RIT. They, they allow us to talk to experienced people from the industry and they have people interview us uh, in preparation for the actual interviews which we were going to be doing after a few days. The interview was uh, scheduled for half an hour but it went slightly over time like 40 minutes which is great actually and uh, the interviewer did some pretty interesting things which really helped me out. We are practicing before the career fair. You have the interview like a real job interview and after the interview they give you a little evaluation of how you did and they give you skills how to develop your skills and what do you need to show in a job interview. And what did they recommend for you? Well, they recommend me to take advantage of my uh, cross-cultural communication skills, like I can speak different languages. Actually, to be quite frank, my interviewer did a very good job in the sense uh, she, she used a different technique. She didn't actually take my interview. She's like, instead of trying to take an interview which for a job which I don't have, I'll just I'll just clarify your doubts on certain things, and then she just asks me questions which are particularly tricky to answer. Like let's say, you know, tell me something about yourself or name your weaknesses. That's a very tricky question, right? Today I come because I think that I want to give back. We tend to um, always be asking RIT, what do you have for students? How can I come in for career fair? Find a student that's going to work for um, our needs. But this is my chance to get back to the RIT and provide the students with some feedback on how well they're doing in an interview process. Give them some tips, some resume tips, um, just, just to help them out, to get them through this process. For some students, this is the very first time they're doing an interview at a mock interview day. And you can see it and sense it when you ask them their questions. This is my first career fair actually, and I am a graduate student now, but um, after going to it, it's actually amazing. It's a great way to start talking about yourself and start to network and start to meet the other people that are also looking at the same job. So it's really interesting to compare qualities and kind of see where you stand, and it's definitely a boost of confidence in a lot of ways. Right now, I'm just looking for an opportunity to use my experience and my management skills in a company. What type of companies are you looking for here today? Management. I'm a business related, so I'm just looking for banks, uh, global companies with uh, business departments. Uh, that's, that's my goal. Can you just explain what uh, you just went through briefly with that company and what company it was? Uh, it was Agent Solutions. Uh, they asked me for my resume and they asked me, uh, they told me about the company and how they work with Java and they asked me if I had any experience with Java and then they asked me how long was I willing to intern, three months or six months and then they went ahead and talked about the company, they told me they were looking for an internship for like six months and about the technologies they worked with and then I asked them how I could become like a better candidate for them and they gave me some feedback on my resume so it was pretty interesting and I'm happy with it. When I'm talking to students here today, this is actually a joke I've gotten from past employers uh, here at this fair, actually. Uh, in the past, I've gotten my second interview because I made eye contact. So, I'm playing along those lines here today of just seeing the social side, but um, we're looking for people who not only like to develop and get their head pretty much against code at all times, but people who just have the, the fun side and enjoy the puzzles that have to do with this industry and solving every issue that comes into play. The co-op system is kind of like a farm system. 
you get it, you get a co-op at Fisher Price, there's a good chance that you know we're going to be looking at you for you know, full-time hire. Uh, today, uh, specifically looking for software engineers, uh, and actually have some microelectronics jobs and a variety of skill sets. So it's going to be niche jobs, but you have the programs in place to satisfy that. I was a non-traditional student, so I graduated in 05 actually from RIT. Uh, I work at Toyota in Erlinger, Kentucky, and I work in supplier engineering development and PE unit staff. And what's your affinity to RIT in regards to continuing to come back to recruit uh, RIT students? Uh, main thing is the hands-on, the co-op experience that they've had, um, and the retention rate that we see with the with the RIT students. So once we hire on, the RIT students generally thrive and do well with each other as a I love it. I mean, it's a great atmosphere. You get everyone's excited. It seems like there's a um, Higher quality is the right word, but you've got a lot of a lot of students with a lot of um, good uh, team experience and their classwork. You can re you can really show that RIT prepares the students for um, interviews and uh, other co-op experiences. The first thing that attracted me to RIT was the co-op program because many years ago when I first started coming here, I was in the process of starting a co-op program at our location in Baltimore, Maryland, and I started doing some research as to what kind of schools might help supply that appetite, and RIT jumped right out. And when we just started to speak with some professors and learn about the curriculums and some of the uh, disciplines that we were interested in, uh, we really liked the depth of the curriculums and it just kind of took off from there. Just based off being an alumni, being a part of the school here, I wanted to come back and be part of the career fair because I benefited so much from this opportunity to walk around and find employers in the area. So as an employer now, I want to make sure I go back and kind of give my pay forward to the kids upcoming now and give them an opportunity to just find what they want in the area. To start with a co-op program, which I um, worked with Paychex as an IT compliance analyst for six months, uh, which has helped me fetch a lot of full-time opportunities coming my way and interviews. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. How did you get in connection with Paychex? Uh, Paychex was um, uh, through the RIT Job Zone portal, uh, where they, they put their position, and I applied for it, and then. Because of my um, coursework, um, they called me for an interview and uh, it went through. Uh, my name is Yinka Williams. I am in the Master's Software Engineering program. I'm from Nigeria. Um, I did my undergrad here as well in Computer Engineering and um, currently got a job at Intuit this, um, starting this summer. Uh, my name is Claudio. I'm from Venezuela and I'm doing my Master's here in Telecom Engineering and I recently got a job in Cisco in Amsterdam. So I got my job through the RIT career fair and basically the way I prepared for it was doing basically doing your homework, going online, figuring out what companies are actually coming, seeing the companies that, um, since I'm international, I wanted to find a company that would definitely sponsor. So basically cut down the list, read about the companies, looked at the job description, find out what exactly they were looking for. And um, I also used a lot of the resources that were on the career website, uh, such as like the, the cover letters, introductions, how to make a brief introduction, how to talk to people, how to clean up your resume, fit in everything to one page. So like there were a lot of stuff on the website that actually helped streamline a lot of stuff. And um, so basically just went straight to the, the fair, knew who I wanted to talk to and everything went pretty, pretty smoothly. Yeah, as, as Jinka said, you have to do your homework and the good thing about RIT is that they help you do it. They have a lot of services like uh, cleaning up your resume, how to build it uh, appropriate, how to space it, all those things that really make the difference even though you don't seem, it doesn't seem like. And then well, they also have this job zone where they post different jobs ranging from co-ops to full-time, part-time, anything you want. And for international students, it's much difficult since you have to find uh, a company that will sponsor you, otherwise uh, it's pretty hard, then those services really help you to do that. I started applying for jobs like in January when I got all my stuff together and I definitely looked in the career services website and then I expanded since they do, here they do some like talks about how to do effective job searches and they tell you about LinkedIn and online sources, how to dig into uh, companies' websites and find jobs that are really like tailored for you. I really used that, so I started 
uh, sending my resume in January and January and February, and then I got responses like in March, like that. So it takes time.